Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. Now we understood that HTML is a markup language. It is a formatting language for web pages. Using HTML, we can create well formatted web pages. Then how do we create a web page? What are the steps we are going to carry? To create a web page, you can use any of the software which allows you to edit text files or create text files and save those files with an extension of .htm or .html. In the market, you find tons of softwares which allow you to edit text and save those files with an extension of .htm or .html. Those softwares we say as editors or sometimes we say IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Now here, I have listed out few software using them you can be able to create html files or i can say web pages or web documents and also there are few softwares which allow you to manage your websites efficiently here are few softwares that we see or use notepad notepad plus plus dreamweaver aptana studio visual studio eclipse netbean and there are tons of softwares which allow you to create HTML pages or manage websites. Here, Dreamweaver, Aptana Studio, Visual Studio, Eclipse, NetBeans, these are the integrated development environments which allow you to create HTML pages and manage websites and uh, be before you put those files online. Also, they allow you to upload and download your web pages uh, on the server or from the server. Um, out of these softwares, we are going to use Notepad because Notepad is available in every Windows machine and uh, it's very easy to use. There is no complexity to understand Notepad and we are going to use this. You can use any of the, any of the editor that I have preferred here. Now let's come to file extension. You are going to take a Notepad or something, some, some editor. In that editor, you are going to edit your HTML code. You can save that file to a .htm or .html. Now many of the times students will ask me like what is the difference between .htm and .html. In the older versions of uh, operating system like 8-bit operating system, uh, Windows operating system if you take, uh, there was a strict rule uh, you need to save your file with an extension which should contain maximum of three characters. Like uh, uh, if you have to save your text file the file extension should be .txt. If you are to save a word file, then you have to save the file as .boc. Even uh, if you have to save some image files, then you need to save them as .bmp, .png, .jpg, like that. Only three characters should be uh, present. Um, such, a, such a rule was there. Now we have uh, higher bit versions of uh, different operating systems. Right? We have 16 bit, 32 bit. Now we have the capability to save files with uh, an extension uh, which can have four characters also, like .html, like uh, .jpeg. If you have to save a uh, Microsoft Word file, then you have you can save as .docx. And uh, if you have to save some Excel files, you can use .exec. So there is not much difference, as I say, right? You can use either .htm or .html. Uh, the browsers are really intelligent. They can interpret your files very easily and uh, display them. We take the help of Notepad. We save the file with an extension .html. I prefer .html. Then, if I need to run and see how that HTML page looks, we are going to use browsers. Now, we know that browsers are going to understand your HTML interpret and display them. So there are plenty of browsers available like we have Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera and more. So let's create a web page and see. What you need to do is you need to click on the start button, click on all programs, go to accessories. In the accessories you find notepad. Click on that. You get this window. Don't worry what I am writing here, what I am doing. You will understand that clearly step by step. 
I'm writing some code. You can see that head, and I'm writing some body. I'm closing body. Then I say here, hello, HTML. That's it. I have created some code here. We understand this code in the next tutorial. Now what we do? Now we have opened the notepad. We wrote some HTML code. We are going to save this with file, save as. Then I need to save the file. Here I need to give a file name. B E F A U L D default. That is the file name. And I need to save this file as .html or .htm. You can see that extension I have given .html. And you can save it at the desktop or wherever you want. Then what you need to do? You need to click on save button. Once you click on save button, you can see that you got a web page. Now once you have a web page, let me close this notepad file. All you need to do is right click on that web page. Say open with Google Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer. Any of the browser you can use to see how it looks. If I open in the Google Chrome, you can see that hello HTML got displayed in the web browser. Congratulations guys, you created first HTML page. Let me right click, open with Firefox. You can see that we got a page open in Firefox and it is saying hello HTML. What we have done? Open the notepad, we wrote some code and we saved that file with .html extension and we open that in a browser. That's it. Three simple steps. So we are going to follow these steps for upcoming all video tutorials and we understand HTML in detail. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we are going to get more information. So thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing.